Welcome back to Black News Tonight. Our next guest, Jalen Barron, has been seen on the Emmy-winning series Shameless as Dominique, and she's the voice of Esther on the animated Netflix series 12 Forever. Jalen plays Trish, younger half-sister of Miles, who might be a little bit wilder than he is. <laughs> Tonight, she is here to talk about her new series, Blind Spotting, based off the film of the same title, Law. The series, led primarily by women of color, tackles important real-life issues while shining light on families of incarcerated people. Here today to talk about her character is the lovely actress Jalen Barron. Welcome to the show, Jalen. Good to see you as always. The series is based off the film Blind Spotting. For viewers who haven't seen the film, can you give us just a little bit of background on where the show picks up? Well, as you said, the show picks up about six months after uh, the fact, and basically we're pretty much picking up on my older brother, Miles, who's played by Rafael Casal. He incarcerated um, unfairly. And we're just pretty much trying to figure out how to navigate life without him. And it's like so many women of color go through in, in the United States of their significant other being imprisoned. So, you know, it affects families all throughout our nation and all over the world. So we're just really trying to convey that message. Your character, Trish, uh, plays younger sister to Miles. And of course, she's a bit of a wild side. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Oh, my goodness. What can I tell you about Trish? There's a whole bunch to say about her. She is crazy. Well, all right, since we talk about that, do you, is there, do you see any of yourself in Trish? Is there, how much of yourself is, is in this character? I mean, you know, I get that question a lot. And what would I, do I see myself in Trish? That's you know what? I think maybe some aspects. I carry myself a bit differently than she does. All love to Trish. Um, I feel like all of us have a little bit of Trish, Trish in us. I feel like you might have some Trish in you too. So I just depends on who can bring nah. that out and what situation. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> uh, it depends on what situations you know brings that out and what happens in your life. Depending on you know, do I need to be a Trish today or not? But. Trish is somebody that you'd always want on your side. She's definitely, definitely like a sister to me, and she's she's helped me grow um, in real life as well. What's your process for preparing for a role like this, or any role really? Oh, my process. Uh, well, it depends on what character, but having friends who work in a similar industry as Trish, I would really just ask them questions on, you know, how do they feel about her or how do they feel before they go on stage, the people who are there, what is it like to, you know, expose yourself in that way and just really taking in what they're saying and try and put myself into those women's shoes every single day and mentally preparing myself for whatever scene is coming. So just asking opinions, looking up interviews of people from the Bay, women from the Bay, especially, and just taking, um, taking cues from them. And luckily David Diggs and Rafael Casal, they really helped me out on that. What do people get wrong the most, not just about Trish, but about women in that world? I think people, are fast to judge and they see their job title and then assume they are a certain way when it is just purely a job and they're just trying to make it through. You know, every job deserves respect despite what people think, whether you are a lawyer, a janitor, the president of the United States, or if you are a stripper. And it's just a job at the end of the day. So I think maybe people get confused with, oh, she's showing her body, but really people can look at it in a way of she's accepting of herself and she's not afraid of who she is and she's in her own power as a woman. So they're getting money just like the rest of us. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. It's labor, and we have to respect it as as labor. Um, and if we spent 100%. more more time, I think, you know, and if we spent more time challenging the men who mistreat those women, who exploit them, they wouldn't be dangerous jobs. They wouldn't be uh, problematic jobs. I, I'm far more critical of the men in those worlds than, than the women, to be quite honest. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question about another world, though, because blind spotting is a part of Stars' take the lead uh, commitment. Uh, which is to amplify voices that might not always be seen or heard. What was it like for you to work on a show that had like at the center a commitment to telling the stories of not just women of color, uh, but led by women of color? 
I mean, it was, it felt only right. It felt like my duty, especially as a woman of color, to be a part of something that's so much bigger than me. And being able to be a part of this experience and show representation to women all across the world means everything. And it's especially important right now with um, what we're all going through during Black Lives Matters and the injustice and uh, mistreatment of Black people in our nation. So being able to represent strong Black women on screen in STARS for their Take the Lead program is vital to what we need to accomplish as a society now. And so Black women's voices can be heard, dark-skinned women, Afro-Latinas, light-skinned women, all across the board, it is important. Gayla, you have been working so much this year. We've had the pleasure of seeing you on all kinds of screens. Uh, what's next, though? What do you want to do beyond what you're currently working on? You guys are going to have to wait and see. I can't say what's next. Hopefully, just um, I'm getting into more writing, hopefully some directing and producing, and just being able to show representation um, for a very long time to girls everywhere. And, um, being able to share other women's stories and perspectives and their journey through life. And hopefully we get to take a tour behind the camera and I can show that as well. So, I mean, I can't say too much about what's next, but that's all I, that's all I have for you. Hopefully it's season two. Well, look, you got us at the, definitely season two. We, we're going to put that out in the air. We're going to name that and claim that. And then hopefully we'll see you in a whole bunch of other stuff because you are a budding star and we can't wait to follow Everything you're doing, we're at the edge of our seat. Jalen, thank you so much for joining me on Black News tonight.